India is divided by the boundaries of states but unified by its togetherness. The culture inherited by different states from north to south to east to west varies proportionately. It's no surprise that we get very relatable to its identity somehow. Art is one such area where India has proven to be very articulate, immensely expressive to showcase their potential such a degree that it has been graced by people of all generations. With the advent of time, we as a society are failing to preserve them. In this video, we are going to list of five such art forms that are on the verge of slowly fading away from existence. Number 1 Dhokra Art We all might be familiar with this famous dancing girl piece from Indus civilization. That being an example of Dhokra art. It uses the lost wax casting technique along with annealing. Mostly artisans prefer non-ferrous materials like copper, brass to make them. Use of hollow casting as well as solid casting has been the order of its preparation. States such as West Bengal Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Telangana are an expert in this form of art. Named after a nomadic tribe Dhokra Damar, this art form is in verge of extinction. Number 2, Chhau dance. Derived from the word chhaya meaning shadow, masks. Some debate its derivation from chhauni meaning military camp. It's even listed on UNESCO's World Dance Forms is struggling to remain in contention. The dance is predominantly performed in Purulia, Mayurbhanj and Sirai Kela. This dance emotes storytelling on abstract themes through combat techniques in spite of heavy dressing donning up a mask. The melody being supported by reed pipes like Mohuri, Shenai. Over the years it has become more acrobatic and faster which has lost its subtlety in the current generation. Number 3 Rogan meaning oil based in Persian. This art form is now sided to single family in Mirona, Kutch of Gujarat. It uses special paste from castor seeds where the oil has been extracted. This paste color are made by diluting water in it and are kept on earthen pots preventing it from drying. A kalam having two flat ends is used to paint on one side and then imprint on the other half by pressing it. Motifs such as tree of life is very popular for wall hangings. This art form is also prevalent in making imprints in cushions or in embroideries. Number 4 Burra Katha A Telugu art of storytelling also known as Tambura Katha or Tandana Katha. It uses string instrument much like veena to narrate an actual story. This is performed by three performers dressed with anklets called gajelu. The main performer plays tambura whereas the other two perform as drummers one is called rajakiya who comments on political and social issues and the other as hasyam who mocks or make jokes this played an important role in indian independence movement gender has never been a restriction in this art form current advancement in internet and tv has made this forgettable with time number 5 ganjifa originally called krida patra in india with the influence of arabic and persian art they were renamed as ganjifa cards these cards were designed on sandalwood and ivory pieces etched with silver and gold colors the theme of cards were usually devotional it's mostly found in regions of kashmir mysore savantwadi and navadurga the colors now used are derived from vegetable dyes and natural minerals Lack of support from government has made it very difficult to preserve it on a long run. Did you like our video? Please put your thoughts on the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thanks for watching.